welcome to my channel, my name is Rana. So the topic of this video is, as you see, does spin actually exist? I guess you all heard about the concept of spin before, like it's a weird concept in quantum physics that is usually represented with up and down nerves, and most of us just know it's supposed to like represent the state of some kind of quantum particle. But still, it is unclear to most of us what spin actually represents. Like, is it the mass of a particle? No. Is the velocity of a particle? No, just up and down arrows. Like, what does it actually represent? And to understand this wildly undigested topic, I suggest we should go back to its origin. Or at least it is physical origin. In 1920, Otto Stern and Walter Gerla designed an experiment that unintentionally led to the discovery that electrons have their own individual continuous spin, even as they move along their orbital of an atom, which is now known as the stern gerla experiment. The experiment was done by putting a silver foil in an oven to vaporize its atoms. Now the atoms are vaporized, the silver atoms were collected into a beam that passed through an inhomogeneous magnetic field. The result was that the magnetic field split the beam into two, and only two separate ones. There were only two beams in the observation. This observation demonstrated that the spatial orientation of angular momentum is quantized into two components, up and down, or left or right, depending on the axis you measure the particles, which we know as spin quantity. You can see the apparatus used in this experiment here. It might seem complex, but the methodology used in this experiment is quite simple, as I explained it before. There are just a magnetic field splitting the atoms into two beams. Like it is actually quite simple. And here is the formula of the deflection caused by the magnetic field. So as you see, we can infer from this experiment that spin is more of a behavioral quantity than just a physical appearance one. Like it describes what path the particle an electron will take under a magnetic field or something. Not like, oh, the particle is blue, oh, the particle is, has that mass, or something. It is actually changeable. According to the theory of quantum mechanics, one can apply a torque on the electron spin degree of freedom by placing the electron in a magnetic field. This will cause spin to process into a different orientation. In other words, changing the spin. So spin is like easily changeable concept. Like it even changes depending on the axis you measure the spin of a particle from. I think it is one of the reasons we have some difficulties picturing the concept of spin, besides the unfamiliarity of quantum mechanics. Like spin as we know it is not tangible, it can easily change. So let's go back to our original experiments. Besides proving the spin concept is real, stern gerla experiment also benefited the quantum theory of it being consistent with the bohr sommerfeld theory. Later in 1927, T.E. Phipps and G.B. Taylor reproduced the effect using hydrogen atoms in their ground state, thereby eliminating any doubts that may have been caused by the use of silver atoms. With this discovery, theory of spin in quantum mechanics slowly began to hold a place in the physics community. And finally reaching its place today. So guys, that was all for today. The purpose of this video isn't actually like tell the concept of spin, just to have a grasp of where does the concept of spin comes from and what experiments prove it, etc. I think we can make another video explaining the concept of spin to understand it better. But uh, I hope this video will be helpful to you. So don't forget to like this video and su subscribe to our channel. If you have any doubts or concerns about this video, like what does this actually mean, or like any recommendations that can be put in, a, in an, another video, don't be shy to use the comment section. So goodbye, see you at other videos.